like whole competitive and classical versus each other is really sort of a difficult dynamic because I feel like there's beautiful dressage and then there's like not great dressage. And just because the not great dressage people also show that doesn't give competition dressage a bad name. You know what I mean? I mean, I think I just, um, the podcast with Sabine Shoot Carey is coming out. Um, check that out on Dressage Life uh, with JJ Tate because she is a perfect, amazing example of beautiful classical dressage and she's ranked number two in the country to go to the olympics and to hear from her own words um just how she feels about that was was also really special and i do think that we all who adhere to this way of beautiful riding and harmony and um mutual trust and and uh a beautiful way of the horse going like if we don't continue to do our part and to show up at clinics or at a horse show um we let the wrong stuff take the stage and then no one sees that it can be done in a different way and that's great exposure that i feel like each and every one of us has a responsibility to show up in that way you know to share this way of riding, you know, with everyone. And um, I said here also, even if I don't win the class, if someone saw a happy athlete working with me in harmony, eager to please me and got inspired by that, then I am also winning. And then again, it comes to the whole idea of competing is a way to keep classical dressage relevant in a fast moving sort of short sighted uh, culture that we have, right? Like everything is available within seconds. Um, no one needs to read anything <laughs> in any books anymore because you can just Google it and get the information right away. And so YouTube, like everything's on YouTube. So I feel like it's also great to keep showing up in a way that we'll keep pushing the beautiful dressage out there for people to witness and to see. I remember once I was competing actually on some young horses at a horse show and this gatekeeper was, um, you know, checking off our names for, you know, and I had cantered by and I said, oh, you know, uh, Jessica Jo Tate, you know, number 517, whatever. And she was like, oh, don't worry. I already knew it was you because I could hear the way your horse was breathing inside his footfalls. And all your horses breathe the same and they all land lightly on the ground. I already knew it was you without you telling me your number. And I like, that was a long time ago. That was like at least 20 years ago. And I will never forget that, that I thought, well, I don't even care how I do in the class <laughs> because that information was exactly what makes me ride. Right.